Life City family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby back at the grocery store for a video all about chocolate. Yes, all about chocolate from cocoa powder, chocolate chips, chocolate snacks, chocolate bars, uh, chocolate nut butters, all that good stuff. I wanna guide you to buying the best quality chocolate at the grocery store so you know exactly what goes into your body. Before we get into the chocolatey goodness, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share, but more importantly, there's a bell icon right below the video. You're gonna wanna enable all notifications because the month of January, we pretty much have videos going live every single day and you wanna get a push notification because we're having a great time. All right, let's start with something kind of basic here. Here's chocolate chips and cocoa powder. Do you guys know the difference between cocoa OA and cacao AO? I don't know if people really notice this, but this is the traditional cocoa here, and it's OA, and that's cacao AO. This stuff is the stuff I use, and this is raw, unprocessed cocoa. This is processed cocoa that's been through some treatment. So it's really interesting, right? And this also, this cocoa here has, uh, it's been alkalized, right? It has some alkalinity to it to lower the acid to it. This is completely raw. The cool thing about chocolate in general is that it's a fermented process. Have you ever seen a raw cacao pod? It's this big, crazy football looking thing, but they dry out the beans and they actually ferment them. Then they turn it into chocolate. But I prefer to use the raw cacao because I want that raw benefit without it going through processing. But I just want you to see the difference between the one where it's spelled AO and OA. You can get this stuff anywhere. Sometimes Costco has a monster bag of this brand, Navitas, uh, raw cacao. It's the best deal ever, and I believe it's only a seasonal item. And this is actually cacao nibs. So when you actually take the cocoa bean and pulverize it, this is what you get. Then you grind these into a chocolate liquor which is like almost like a liquidy paste. Then you would add sugar or milk to it. But these are really good to bake with or just have a snack. They're very bitter, but very delicious. So knowing that, we'll come down to chocolate chips right here. It's a really exciting time to buy chocolate chips because the world of sugar-free chocolate chips, in my opinion, is next level. I mean, we pick up a normal chocolate chip like this. There's nothing wrong with it, right? These are dark chocolate chips. The problem is they're always made with cane sugar. And that's the kind of sugar we try to avoid. We know cane sugar is not good for us, but it also is really bad for your gut bacteria. We talked about this in the sweetener video. Cane sugar is the worst sweetener of all. If this was sweetened with maple syrup, um, even agave nectar would be better. Something else besides cane sugar, I'd be okay with it, but I wouldn't be as good as I can be because come down here. These sugar-free chocolate chips from Lily's are next level delicious, you guys. So we look at the ingredients. And you see, they're sweetening it with non-GMO erythritol. They use real vanilla and they use stevia extract. And the cool thing about this is that it tastes just like the real deal. The only one I would maybe avoid is the milk chocolate one because something I find in many other sugar-free chocolate chips, they add natural flavors. But man, if you follow me, on the Flav City Instagram, I've been using the dark chocolate sugar-free chips to make my keto pancakes on the weekend. They're so good. You, your boo, your kids, they won't know the difference and it's so much better for you. If you're not following me on the Flav City Instagram, head over there, daily post, but daily stories of what we make from dinner and it's really, really fun. So that's super duper exciting to me. So I would look for those chocolate chips. They're a little more expensive. They're $6.99, but without having the sugar, that's really important to me. Now it's winter time. We have hot cocos here. The thing with all hot cocos, just like with the uh, chips, they're gonna have sugar. So we look at this, this is a premium brand here. I just know it's premium because I'm paying for the glass, right? But I look at the ingredients. First ingredient is cane sugar, and they're also sneaking in some natural flavor here. So that kind of bugs me, but it's standard process, right? You're always gonna see every kind of uh, hot chocolate like that. So I'm actually working on a recipe, I'm not done yet, for a sugar-free keto hot chocolate that is dairy-free. And it's um, unsweetened raw cacao, organic coconut sugar, um, a little bit of monk fruit sweetener, and some cinnamon. I'm almost there. It's, follow me on Instagram. When I'm done, I'll post it. It's fantastic. So these are like the chocolate 101 basics you really want to know. Let's go down here real quick because I'm going to go to a part of the video I think you're going to get really excited about chocolate bars and chocolate snacks. Let's start here. These to me are super exciting because they're school safe. They're sun butter cups. They got rid of peanut butter, put sunflower seed, and in case your kid or your school has a no uh, nut uh, policy, these are really cool. 
the thing is, right, we look at the ingredients here and we see it's made with dark chocolate, so I'm really excited it's not milk chocolate, which I consider candy. They do use some powdered sugar, which I'm kind of bummed out about, but how much is the sugar? It's 12 grams for two servings, so two, uh, six grams per, that's just over a teaspoon. Not terrible. The thing is you're very limited when it comes to like nut-free treats, so this isn't that bad, but what excites me even more is sugar-free chocolates are taking over the grocery store, starting with this. You guys, these are unbelievable. These are from Evolved. They're butter cups. These are the ones that have pretty clean ingredients. Look at this. Instead of cane sugar, all of a sudden we have coconut sugar, Himalayan pink salt, not a refined uh, bleach salt. But this is cool. But if you're keto, look at these. These are called keto cups. And this flavor right here, the I'm the first one to break into this. How exciting. This hazelnut butter. Art and I had this the other day. Art, how good was this? Good. So good. Look at the ingredients. Like this did not exist just a couple years ago. The Jerusalem artichoke is for fiber. Cacao butter, monk fruit sweetener, MCTs. This stuff is amazing. So you can get them at the store. You can get them online. Very exciting. They also make them in these packages, which is fantastic. Also, I want to reach into my cart. This is not in stores. This is online only, but I've been doing some Instagram promotion with this company. This is Nirvana. They're the only company that makes keto sugar-free chocolate truffles. Look at these. Each truffle has one net carb here, and it's sweetened with allulose and erythritol and stevia, next level ingredients, and there's nootropics in there too. I'll put a link down below. This stuff is fantastic. The peanut butter truffles are next level. That's online only. And then Lily's also has sugar-free dark chocolate. Just be careful because sometimes when you get to the flavored varieties here, like this is salted caramel milk chocolate, they sneak in natural flavors and sure enough, there it is right there. So you got to be careful. And then don't be fooled by brand images on the front cover. A lot of people like to think this is a premium company because they make the premium uh, peanut butter. The thing is, just like their peanut butter, they use palm oil. So let's see where the ingredients are here. The peanut butter, they have cane sugar here. And let's see, right there, thank you, Art, palm oil. So they use palm oil with their peanut butter. So I wouldn't get that. I would just get the uh, either the coconut sugar or the keto cups. And then there's a documentary on Netflix called The Rotten, and they have a whole episode about chocolate. Most of the chocolate from the world comes from uh, Africa or South America, but two countries in Africa, I think it was Ivory Coast and whatever is right next to it, they use a lot of slave labor in the chocolate industry, and these guys are slave labor free chocolate. Just watch the documentary, it's crazy. But when you buy chocolate, you really wanna buy dark chocolate, because I consider milk chocolate to be pretty much candy. All right, that's it for here. Let's wrap up the video with chocolate flavored uh, peanut butter spreader like Nutella and chocolate cookies. All right, for all of my Nutella fans out there, the bad news is Nutella is not something I would eat. It's made with palm oil and tons of refined sugar. And there's really no chocolate nut spreads on the market except one that is Bobby approved. We come down here and this company is next level. It's Nutso and they make a chocolate power fuel. First of all, look at the nuts they're using here in the seeds. Ch -ch -ch Chia, flaxseed, hazelnut. And what I love about it is we look at the chocolate, you see they're using coconut sugar, and then the rest of the ingredients are clean, and they're using Celtic sea salt, one of my favorite unrefined salts. This is as close as you can get to hazelnut spread or Nutella. There's another one here that looks fancy, right? It's called nocciolata, and you're like, oh, it's organic, I'm gonna get it. Guys, organic doesn't necessarily mean anything. Look at the ingredients. First ingredient's cane sugar. Then we have sunflower oil. While sunflower oil is better than palm oil, it's still highly processed and highly refined. Not something I would want. I would look for that uh, nutso. I wish they had the big version of Costco like they do for the power fuel. That'd be amazing. And then, all right, let's switch around here. The wall of chocolate chip cookies is almost impossible because either they use bad oil, too many refined sugars. There's really only one I can see here, and it's this brand. So this brand is very high quality. It's out of Chicago. These are chocolate chip cookies. And what I love about it 
is that it's made with a nut and seed blend and they're using coconut sugar, so it's paleo, and coconut oil. So look at the rest of the ingredients, all fantastic. And the thing is, here's my problem. You have to read the label because the double chocolate crunch cookie, instead of using coconut oil, they're now using palm shortening. Asterix, responsibly, sustainably sourced. Don't be fooled by that, you guys. Organic palm sugar is like having organic canola oil. It's still highly processed and highly refined. So it's honestly, one of the only cookies I can find here is this chocolate one that uses good quality ingredients, no wheat, no grains, and a good fat and a good sugar. So that's it, you guys. I just thought I'd make a video about chocolate because there's a lot of options, but eating healthy doesn't mean eliminating chocolate. It's about eating the right chocolate, and the options now are next level. This stuff did not exist. Sometimes five years ago or back in my childhood, forget about it. It was Hershey's bars, and that's it. All right what video to make next. Leave a comment down below. These videos are all about you guys. Like, subscribe, share. The only way our channel keeps growing the way it has is all because of you. Uh, we got two more of those videos going below us right now. But Art and I will see you very soon. Until then, we say unto you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace, guys.